He's being credited with saving the flock of sheep in his care, but not before being badly hurt as he fought off nearly a dozen coyotes. A dozen. Take a look at Casper. The dog is okay now, but it's going to be a long road to recovery. Atlanta News First reporter Don Shipman live in DeKalb County inside Lifeline Animal Project. That is the nonprofit helping to nurse Casper back to health. Yeah, good evening. Casper is going to be here for another week or so. We're at Lifeline and we're inside and we have Casper here with the staff. The staff is really taken to him and he's really taken to the staff. Well, today Casper had a chance to meet with his human, John, here. And John had a chance to meet with the veterinarian staff that saved Casper's life. We feed him while we change the bandages. Oh, it's that, yeah. It's extra belly rubs and a lot of love and attention today for Casper. This Great Pyrenees livestock dog is still recovering after a violent encounter with a pack of coyotes nearly a month ago. I, I can't even explain how good it is to see him right now because I feel like, I, I mean, I feel like there was no way he was going to live when I saw him. All of the sheep were backed up over here. Urban Shepherd John Weirville says that two-year-old Casper was standing guard over his flock of sheep when about 10 coyotes got too close for comfort. And I could see the coyotes running around in this area. And uh, when I got over this way, then Casper took off. Probably the worst I've seen. Casper managed to kill eight of the coyotes, saving the sheep in his care, but in the process was badly hurt. He had gaping wounds in his neck and side, and his tail had to be docked. There were a few days that the vets at Lifeline Animal Project worried recovery wouldn't be an option. How bad are these wounds, and if it's something that can be fixed, um, or if it's something that is beyond fixing that, you know, that was, is what makes the quality of life an issue. Casper, who hates wearing this cone, isn't out of the woods just yet. The healing process will likely take several more months. A month later, you see him. Yeah. Like that and like, what do you, what do you yeah, Now a month later, I think he'll probably be out here with sheep again. And they took the cone off so we can see him a little bit better. Yeah, there he is. Lifeline is donating their care, which would have cost upwards of $15,000. By the way, I did reach out to the Atlanta Coyote Project. They said that it is very rare for that many coyotes to run all together at the same time, especially this time of year. They say generally they're more afraid of you than you are of them. Live in DeKalb County, Don Shipman, Atlanta News First. Yes,